Would you believe me if I told you that Warren Buffett pays less tax than his secretary? It sounds unbelievable, but it's true. How can a billionaire pay fewer taxes than an average income earning secretary? The answer lies in the different approaches people take towards taxation. There are two kinds of taxpayers. Those who accept taxes as a natural part of life and pay whatever the government demands, and those who do everything in their power to minimize their tax burden. Let's call these two types Paul and Jack. Paul earns $40,000 a year, and when the government comes knocking at the end of the year, he doesn't see it as a big deal. He hands over $15,000 in income taxes and moves on with his life. Sure, he'd love to keep more of that money, but he sees paying taxes as a normal part of life. Jack the Tax Avoider Jack, on the other hand, is a medium-sized business owner who draws a salary from the tech company he built from scratch. With over 50 employees and a business that's growing year over year, Jack despises taxes. He thinks, how can the government, which played no part in my business's success, take such a huge chunk of my money? Moreover, Jack is taxed personally and as a business owner. He faces personal income tax, sales tax, excise tax, property tax and investment tax. Determined to reduce his tax burden, Jack looks into how big corporations avoid paying taxes. He learns that in 2018, Amazon paid zero income tax, despite earning over $200 billion in revenue. Jack is determined to use similar strategies to cut down on his corporate and personal tax bills. Here are the techniques he discovered. Method 1. Writing off expenses. Most wealthy individuals earn their fortunes through a business, giving them opportunities to write off expenses and reduce their taxable income. For example, if you run a digital marketing agency earning $200,000 a year without expenses, the whole amount would be subject to tax. However, if you have $100,000 worth of legitimate business expenses, your taxable profit would be only $100,000, significantly lowering your taxes. Eligible expenses can include business meals, office supplies, new laptops, internet connections, employee benefits, staff training, rent, leases and car expenses. Even a conference trip for skill development can be written off. This method is one reason business owners often appear wealthier than employees. Method 2. Diverting income. In 2017, the US corporate income tax rate was reduced from 35% to 21% but many companies still recognize income in countries with even lower tax rates. For instance, the Cayman Islands have no income tax, corporate tax, estate or inheritance tax, gift tax or capital gains tax, making it a tax haven. By setting up a tax haven, a business can save significant amounts on taxes. Additionally, offshore corporations in the Caymans are not required to submit financial reports to any government authority, protecting their finances from foreign tax authorities. Method 3. Netting revenues against losses. Starting a business comes with risks and many small businesses fail. However, those that succeed can use loss carry forwards to reduce their taxes in future profitable years. Losses incurred during the early unprofitable years of a business can be used to offset future taxable income, reducing the overall tax burden. Method 4. Issuing stock options. Businesses can reduce taxes by issuing stock options to stakeholders. This method is beneficial because it is recorded as an expense, reducing taxable profits without resulting in a cash outflow. Additionally, it incentivizes shareholders to increase the company's stock value, aligning their interests with the business's success. Method 5 Leveraging Geographical Tax Laws after growing his business in Silicon Valley, Jack is tired of the high state income tax rate. States like Texas, Nevada and Florida have no state income tax, offering significant savings. By relocating to one of these states, Jack can avoid the 13.3% state income tax he currently pays. Method 6. Investing in real estate. The wealthy often invest in real estate to generate income and reduce taxes. Owning depreciable assets allows for tax deductions through depreciation. Common deductible expenses include property repairs and mortgage interest. When a property is fully depreciated, it can be sold and replaced with a new one, deferring taxes through mechanisms like the 1031 exchange. Method 7. Deferring income. 
Another effective tax avoidance strategy is deferring income using retirement accounts like an IRA. Contributing to an IRA allows you to defer taxes on your income until retirement, when you are likely in a lower tax bracket. This strategy is particularly effective for high-income earners, reducing their tax burden during their peak earning years. With these tax avoidance techniques in his financial toolbox, Jack feels confident he can reduce or eliminate his corporate tax bill. But he also needs to withdraw some income to live on and wants it to be minimally taxed. By exploring geographical tax laws, real estate investments and income deferral, Jack can further reduce his personal tax liability. So, with all these strategies in mind, you only have one question left to answer. Which type of taxpayer will you be from here on out, a Paul or a Jack?